Hey everybody, my name is Weefies and welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to be looking at the Hermitcraft skin tier list. I have compiled the base skins of all the hermits in this tier list, and or at least I hope most of them. If I didn't, then I'm really bad at this. But hopefully we have all the skins today and we're going to be comparing which skin do I think is the best. Now, quick disclaimer before the video starts, this is my opinion. We're not gonna be using the criteria like the last comp like the last uh, not compilations, comparisons. We're not gonna be using any criteria. We're gonna be using do I think the skin looks good? Do I think it's detailed? What do I what's my opinion about it? Now do keep in mind all of the hermit skins are good, and I do not mean to offend anyone that likes a skin that I don't. However, do keep in mind this is my opinion. There are some skins that I'm not going to like, there are some skins that I'm going to rate really high, and there's also some skins that I'm going to rate really low, or D tier, I didn't want to include an F tier, or an SS. But, just keep in mind, this is my opinion, this doesn't mean anything, it's just kind of for the fun of it, which skin do I think is the best. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Hope you enjoy it, and please do consider subscribing if you do enjoy it, it would really mean the world to me. Alright, so first up is False Symmetry Skin. Now, False Symmetry Skin is pretty good. I think false skin is, it's like a standard idea, but the execution is pretty pretty good, as I've said many times now. I think the skin is quite detailed, there's a bunch of nice features on it. It's not my favorite skin in the world, but I don't think it looks bad, not at all. I think it's definitely decent, It's I think it's A tier, and I know I haven't been hyping it up that much, but I do think there was some work put into this, it does look really nice, I like the skin. Next up, the green skin. Green skin is much has much less going on than false, but it's still really detailed. Like there's a bunch of different color gradient, and his hair looks lovely, and the eyes I'm a big fan of. Literally everything in green skin comes together really, really nicely. I think to form this nice like snuggish guy in a sweater. I really like green skin, especially that it's slim. Mm. So I'm also gonna put it in A tier. I do really like it. Next up is Impulse skin. Now Impulse skin is definitely a throwback with a creeper on the shirt. I used to see those all the time. And it was a skin I think is decent. There isn't, there is a bit more going on than green skin, but definitely less than false. I do like it a bit less. I don't dislike it. I just like it less. I don't know. I think I'm gonna put it in the B tier. I might move it later, but I think B tier is how I'm gonna do this. Next up, Iskal. Uh, Iskal skin I think looks really, really, really good. I I think it's custom as well, which makes it even better. I love the eyepiece. And all the coloring looks really nice. I really like how it comes together. As I said before, with green skin, Iskal skin just has a lot more detail and a bit more going on. It just has a really nice vibe to it, I think, whatever that means. And I don't know. Personally, I think this is S tier worthy. Iskal skin, mm, definitely like, definitely a good one. Let me scroll back into place. Yeah, I, I really like it. Iskal skin, it's really, really good. I Jevin is up next, and while this skin is kind of generic, it does have that J in the back, which you cannot see, obviously. Um, I don't know. I think it looks fine. There isn't much going on. It's not too special. In my personal humble opinion, how do I, how good do I think it looks? I don't know. I think it's about as good as Impulse Skin, uh, B tier. I don't know. There's not much going on. It's just, it's nice. It's a nice skin. It's a decent skin. It might be C, I'll be generous and put it in the B tier. Okay, next up, Joe Hills. Joe Hills has this really cool at sign on his skin, but other than that, there isn't really much going on as far as I can tell. I don't know. This skin is this skin is decent, I guess. There's not mu there's not really too much happening. I think the skin is C tier, or yeah, I think that's a I think that's how I'm gonna rate it for now. Maybe I'll move it later. I don't know. Joe Hills skin C tier. Coralis up next. Uh, Coralis is really just a simple Steve however he has the facial expression but more importantly he has that lovely coloring I think like it's like you put shaders on the basic Steve skin you get the Corolla skin and while there isn't much going on the colors do look really really nice so I'm gonna put it like I wish I could put it between B and A so I'm gonna put it in B tier but I think it's like in the middle between B and A that's how I think about it mumbo jumbo skin uh, it's iconic, that's for sure. It has uh, many, the, the mustache, of course, the tie, everything is iconic to Mumbo Jumbo. And everyone else with a skin like that. But, you know, it's it's a decent skin, in my opinion. I think I think it looks nice. It has a nice feel. Nothing wrong with it. So, I will put it in the B tier. Next up is Rendog. Now, I think Rendog's skin got a bit cut off. I don't think his legs are that short, but who knows. Rendog's skin looks really nice for Season 7. I think the sunburn is really nice, and as well as the patchwork. I don't know, I think it's kind of detailed, which is always really good. And personally, I just really like how it feels. So, I'm gonna give it A tier. I mean, uh, uh, I don't know. 
I really don't know. We'll save Rendog for later because I don't know how much I what I think about him. Now this is the one that I was confused about because I don't know if this is a good times with Scar's base skin for the whole season or if it was just for a few episodes. This can be subject to change, and I'm really sorry if this is not his base skin. But for season seven, if this is his base skin, I personally really really like this skin. I think it has a ton going on. It was obviously made really well. The pantsless wizard is beautiful. That's the only adjective that could possibly use to describe it. Beautiful. So, I think this is going to go with Iskal in the S tier. I think I really like that one. Next up is Stress Monster. And actually, now that we think about it, I can actually organize these within the tiers. So, before I go to Stress Monster, I'm going to organize it so the closer it is to the letter, the better it is. So, uh, the best one in the A tier, I S tier, I think, in my personal opinion, I think Scars, I think it's the best case so far. I haven't changed this one. Uh, personally, in the B tier, uh, I like to see more of the false, you know, I thought it should be better for the B tier is a bit hard, you know, I think people like this. Yes, I think that's how I feel. Okay, so far, so good. Next up, Stress Monster. Uh, I really like the colors in Stress Monster. It's very bright. It looks really, really nice. That has a nice feel to it. Uh, I like the eyes as well. Uh, I don't know. I think it's a good skin. Pretty much, it's very good. Uh, bottom of the A tier. Next up, Tango Tech. Now, you can't see Tango Tech's full hair, but he does have this really nice hair pattern in his uh, in his actual skin. The one thing that I don't like about Tango's skin is the eyes. The eyes always like... I don't know, the eyes are always like a bit too red for me, and the jacket, the jacket's decent, I don't know, personally, personally the skin isn't my favorite, I know it is one of the more detailed ones out there, but it just, it doesn't resonate with me as much, again, it's my opinion, I'm sorry if this offends anyone, I don't know, the thing, I think the skin is okay, but it's definitely not my favorite on this list, so I'm gonna put it top of the C tier for now, I might change it later, I might move it to B tier, I don't know, Joe Hills, get out of there. Okay, next up, TFC. TFC has a really nice skin. I think it's really simple, really classic. I like the eyes, though. It's a nice touch. Although there isn't much going on, and the letters are... I, I don't know. The letters... Something doesn't do it for me. I don't like it, because... I, I don't know. The letters are... Letters on the shirt... I get it, although I just don't like it as much. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. If that, does that sound really bad? I feel like it sounds really bad. I, I feel bad this entire video. Oh, God. Uh, for now, I'm going to put DFC skin in the C tier, because nothing, nothing I think on this list is deserving of the D tier. They all look not bad. Oh, God, I scrolled. I think this, uh, this lovely skin right here has a really nice mask. Um, I think it's going to go here. I think it looks really good. I like green skin more. It's just super cozy. Not S tier, though. And Exuma skin looks really nice. I love the little visor. The tint is really good. And the uh, colors overall just look super duper nice. Oh, we're back to Ren Oh no, we're back to Rendog. Okay, Rendog. Um. Uh. Mm, okay, so he's definitely between A and S. I'm gonna put him S tier. I think he's just in. He can qualify for S tier. I think he is worthy of the S tier. Rendog skin. It, it's pretty good. Next up, B Zuma. The only thing I dislike about B Zuma is, okay, two things. The eyebrows look a bit off. Or maybe those are antenna. Those might be antenna. I'm so d I'm so dumb. Okay, those are antenna. The nose or whatever that is, it's just like a yellow line running down the middle of his head. That kind of sets me off. I like not sets me off. Like it kind of like it's a bit off. Is what I'm trying to say. Mid B tier. I feel that that's where it belongs. Oh, in my opinion, of course. Next up is ZF. Now, ZF has, like, n barely any color difference between the pixels of his skin, which is fine. I think it looks decent. The mouth... The mouth hurts me, to say the least. Uh, the hair is really nice. The pants... Mm -hmm. I think the simpleness of the jacket mm -hmm. and pants is really... It really complements the skin, like, when they go together. If you have really detailed pants and a really plain shirt, then no. And same thing with really detailed shirt and really plain pants. But I think the way he does it, it does look pretty nice. And I... I do like it, although well, this is this is a hard one. I don't know. I'll give it bottom of the B tier, just because I think it could be better. But you know, I don't think it's amazing. Next up is Zombie Cleo. Oh, this skin is this skin. I don't know if you guys watch my my really old video of the top best Termicraft skins. Zombie Cleo's skin hasn't changed on Name MC, so I can only assume that it. Well, yeah, Zombie Cleo's skin hasn't changed on Name MC, so I can't compare any other skin. And uh. What can I say? This skin is definitely, like, this is definitely solid S tier. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Yeah, I really, really like the skin. I I like, personally, Iskal's 
Iskel skin more. I think I, I like his, like, it resonates with me more. However, Zombie Cleo's skin just looks so good. Even though I don't like as much as Iskel's, I just think it looks really, really, really good. So that's why I'm going to put it in S tier. I think it, mm, it looks really, really good. Next up, B-dubs. He does has a little face in his legs. I don't know if you guys can see it, but he has a little face in his pants right here, which is quite a funny. I like the knives. It's a really like old style Minecraft skin thing you'd see in like 2014 uh, player wearing. It looks really cool. I like the bandana, uh, or whatever that is. Actually, no, it's head, not a band. I'm headband, not a bandana. I don't like the skin as much though, but I do think it's good. So I'm gonna put it between Corrales and Mumbo. I think that, in my opinion, that's where it belongs. That's I think it looks nice there. Next up is Cub Fan. Now Cub Fan skin is very very popular. It's a very popular skin. Many people use it. However, it does also look very nice, and I think it looks pretty cool. It looks really well made. I like it. I might have wore it for a. I might wear it for the vi for a video. Not that I have any ideas, but if I wanted to be a scientist, I would use the skin and then add my face onto it or something. I don't know. I think this looks. I think this one looks really good. Uh, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it behind stress like that. I think it, it's. I think it's an A tier skin. Next up is Doc M. Doc M skin is really really nice. I think it looks really good. It's definitely, I think, original. I don't think anyone else has this skin. I think it was an original idea by him. It does look really, really cool. I don't know if it's a season seven thing, but he has those Crocs on. I'm sorry if that was for a video, but the Crocs, they are they're they don't do anything. They don't change my opinion. Um, I like the skin. I like the arm. I like the creeper. I like the texturing. I love the cloak. The robe, I think, is really, really good. The, or the lab coat, whatever it is. I think it's really, really good. I, I want to put it in S tier. But at the same time, I don't. I'm not really sure about this one. I think this is going to be top A tier. This is probably the best A tier skin, in my opinion. Uh, even better than the Greens. I really like Black M's skin. I think it's really, really good. Almost S tier, but not quite there. And finally, Etho. Uh, Etho Slab has only one skin on his MMC. Well, they have two, and they're practically identical. So, And it's this weird thing of like two heads. I'm sorry if I don't watch Etho enough to get why there's two heads, but there are two heads. And this is like... This is Kakashi, right? This is Kakashi from Naruto. Naruto. I could be butchering all these Japanese names, and I would have no idea. But Kakashi from Naruto. Kakashi from Naruto. Um, I love Nar. I love Naruto. I've watched most of the seasons. Kakashi, though, he was my favorite character in the show, so that does give this skin a little bit of bias. Plus, I was a huge Lego Ninjago fan, so this uh, it's such a nostalgic skin. It looks so good, in my opinion. Kakashi, mmm. I, oh, this is going to be a very controversial decision. A D tier. I think this skin is garbage. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. It's going to be a very controversial decision. But I'm going to put it in bottom of the S. Is it Kakashi? Well, it reminds me of Kakashi, so what do you know? Bottom of the S tier. Anyway, guys, this is my Hermitcraft skin tier list. It's not good or anything. It's definitely, it definitely could be much better. But this is my Hermitcraft skin tier list. Uh, I'm sorry if you disagree with any of the opinions. I don't mean to offend anyone. All the Hermits are great YouTubers that should not be judged by the appearance of their skin. I sound like an activist. Anyway, thank you much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. I really sincerely hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do consider subscribing. You can always unsubscribe later. It's free. And thank you so much. It would really mean the world to me if you did subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace out. Goodbye. Which skin is your favorite? Let me know.